Well, it's not every day someone stumbles across mammoth remains from thousands of years ago, but that's exactly what happened to a Central Texan. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Tarleton State Geoscience Department, and the Waco Mammoth National Monument are now all working together to safely dig up these fossils. News 10's Isabella Quintanilla went to the site to do a little digging of her own. Back in June, Sabrina Solomon was just out on the lake fishing with a friend when she quite literally stumbled upon these. I was walking up that hill with all the clay. It was really wet and slippery and I ended up falling and coming face to face with the specimen. She noticed they looked strange and had a feeling that what she had found were more than just rocks. I, I told my best friend, I was like, it's dinosaur bones, you know. We thought it was actually like a spine to something. That's what it looked like to us. So she alerted the park and when Jared Briscoe, the lead park ranger for the lake where the bones were found, got a look at them, he immediately reached out to Tarleton State's Geoscience Department. I made kind of an initial determination that I thought it was a mammoth um, whenever I got here, just based on my limited knowledge. To confirm, Tarleton's Geoscience Department sent out Chris Jutanen, an instructor for the department. What I saw when I got here was a uh, about four or five inches of tusk. It was pretty clear this is a mammoth. He rounded up some students and got Dr. Lindsey Yan with the Waco Mammoth National Monument to come out and help with the excavation. Once they had an entire crew on site, it didn't take long to discover more bones. So there's part of what may be a skull, there's a radius or part of an arm bone, and part of some of the spinal bones. From the bones alone, they determined this was a 40-year-old male Colombian mammoth from roughly 20,000 years ago, similar to the ones on display at the Waco Mammoth site. It's so hard to imagine them walking through your backyard. So every time we find one in your backyard, it kind of triggers the imagination. And even a small find like this and the other finds in this area, they really tell us about the paleontological history of this area. According to Utenen, as the bones are removed from the ground, they will head to Tarleton State to be preserved and studied for years to come. Reporting in Bosque County, Isabella Quintanilla, KWTX News 10. Right before the excavation started, two of the mammoth's teeth were taken from the site, but thankfully they were returned to the Bosque County Sheriff's Office to protect the site and further and prevent any further tampering. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers asked us not to disclose the exact location of the mammoth remains until they are safely removed. This also serves as a reminder, if you find anything that could be an archaeological or paleontological discovery, Leave it alone and reach out to proper authorities.